Hey everyone, it's Kenla and welcome to my channel. And this is weaving through some particle physics, <laughs> human design, astrology in the context of the divine feminine and evolutionary feminine leadership. So today I want to focus on these solar flares that are happening and all these incredible pictures of the Northern lights that are being posted. I'm not seeing them where I am, but this is an incredible geo magnetic storm. And what does that mean for us? Well, I don't have the answer, but I have some pieces to share with you to put it all together because here's the context. We know we can feel it in our bones. We know that we're midwives of a new age. That's my stand. That's my context that gives me power to say what I say, to do what I do. So we're here to midwife the old to the new. And we have a say about this new. And the Gene Keeps helps us understand that we went from this shadow, that we there's a gift frequency, there's a higher level that inside the shadow contains a gift and inside the gift contains this ultimate code for your enlightenment. And what is enlightenment? The realization that there's only one thing the realization of the who and the what, the dropping away of the separateness, the dropping away of all the ego identity concerns. Who am I? Am I loved? Am I accepted? Am I worthy? All of that drops away. And there's just this beautiful isness. That's the enlightened state. And the Gene Keys describes 64 flavors of this enlightenment. So we're here for that purpose. And I have to wonder when I hear about this solar flares bombarding the earth at such a rate that we have not seen in a very long time. And it's part of this 11 year cycle of uh, the sun, which apparently also Jupiter has an 11 year cycle and the sun and Jupiter are responsible from the perspective of human design for the codes that we are receiving. So I love that this is what's in play right now. I'm gonna talk about neutrinos, what they are. I've got a little scientific information, but also some information from human design. So some of you may not know that in 1987, Alan Robert Krakauer, I think that's his name, who became Ra Uruhu was and, and he was given that name as he emerged from eight days with what he called the voice. And the voice was the one who showed him the body graph, the way that our blueprint is actually designed to wake up. I love that. It's designed to wake up. So all the striving about waking up, it's designed and we're in earth school, so we can't forget that. And earth school is the conditioning, but we're going to not be like experiencing our design. We're going to experience all the not design, all of our not self is what rock called it from parents telling us who we are, what we should be society telling us who we are and what we should be. And we can see that the spiritually awakened community is breaking out of that with um, the heightened astrology, I'm going to say like the, the complexity of the astrology since 2020 is an inner urging the, as an outer urging of, of the shift for letting go of the old and coming into a newness and the newness being sovereignty, stepping into our gifts, stepping into our purpose, why we're here knowing that we're no longer here to be cogs in a wheel or to feed the machine. In fact, we don't trust the machine anymore. We're trusting ourselves now. So all the ways that the spiritual community is leading this energy and movement to a more self-expressed, self-actualized human. But we're not going to stop there. <laughs> There's so much more in the universe. And and what's cool is that these solar flares are causing us to look up. And as we look up, our eye gaze 
is shifting from our, you know, think about mammals, four leggeds. We're mammals too, but four leggeds, they're looking at the ground. Their eye is is at on Mother Earth, which is beautiful. But as Homo sapiens sapiens, our eyes are capable of doing both. So we are this bridge species from the the four legged mammals of which we came. I mean, and and the and the star people of which we came. We are this bridge species. We are the experiment of embodiment. So Ra got the gnosis, this awakened understanding of neutrinos that wasn't even a part of quantum physics. It's a subatomic particle, neutrinos. And the way that the voice explained it was later verified by science. So at the time that Ra received this transmission, it was thought that neutrinos were um, like just pure energy. They had no mass in them. But because they move one to two percent slower than the speed of light, it wasn't until I think 1998 that a Japanese scientist figured out that they actually were matter, like that it had they contained matter, a very tiny amount of matter. And what Ra heard in that transmission was that that matter was information for us. Now, a neutrino, what's so cool about a neutrino is that it can go through matter. It's so light that it can go through matter. And it along, like, so it comes from uh, the sun and I'm going to, I'm going to read some of my notes because it's pretty, really cool. So it says, this is from a scientific, let's see. Yeah, it's from a PBS article on science. And it said, neutrinos are teeny weeny, nearly massless particles that travel at near light speed. And okay, here's the, here's the thing I want you to pay attention to. Born from violent astrophysical events like exploding stars and gamma ray bursts they are fantastically abundant in the universe and they can move as easily through lead as we can through air so what i want you to pay attention to is this burst the exploding stars and you think about that as the sun is a star and it's exploding at just massive rates, exponentially massive rates than it ever has before, flooding us right now with information. Okay, let's keep going. Um, it says that they are one of the universe's essential ingredients. So it says, if you hold your hand toward the sunlight for one second, about a billion neutrinos from the sun will pass through your hand. That's so cool. This is from a man named Dan Hooper, a scientist um, and a professor of astronomy from the University of Chicago. Let's see. But because they're shot out as a byproduct of nuclear fusion from the sun, that's the same process as sunlight. Okay. So this is super cool because sunlight, the sun, let's go to, now let's go to human design. In human design, what activates your purpose are these codes, 70% of the codes that you receive from the sun. That's why I do my gene key transmissions on what the sun is highlighting. So if you have a birthday, when I do the gene key transmission, that means that that's your conscious sun. That is your life work. That's what you're here to do. That's the karma that has prepared you for this. 
And when you step into it, you shine the brightest. I love this work and, and it's, it's supported me in understanding what my true gifts are. And believe it or not, I started off doing divine feminine archetypes. And you remember my summit in 2020? Archetypes are part of, I get chills saying that, are part of my gene key. You can't make this up. You know what else is? Light. So here I am talking about light. I find that our life work weaves through the thing that we do. So I don't have to be a light physicist or a light code doctor. <laughs> I just do light codes through the gene keys and it illuminates. It illuminates me. It illuminates my work and allows you to have a listening for what it is I'm saying. So neutrinos, this is part of the system that activates your DNA. This is how the Gene Keys puts it. And that could be physical, uh, actual DNA or metaphoric DNA. Um, I, I don't know about this part. So I just take it as a metaphor of my subtle body activation. The parts of me that are bigger than this physical body get activated for the purpose of bringing through God through my template. That's pretty, that's pretty epic, isn't it? So let's see if there's anything else I want to share. Um, there's so much to say, and I want to get to the question of why we care about this. So you can see I'm teeing up your purpose. You can see that light, the sun, and this is why every day I go walk out even if it's cloudy out, I walk outside to receive because there's still light above the clouds. I receive the light codes. I take it seriously that there are codes. And now we are being infused with codes. So it's a very interesting time that we're living in. Pam Gregory says, this is the first time in 12,000 years that, that the earth has access to the photon belt. So it's receiving light codes at a rate that it has never received before. Now, or I, you know, in 12,000 years, I don't want to say never, but in 12,000 years. Then we have Uranus, the, the change maker, the, the, the planet of quick blasts of energy is waking us up. We have geomagnetic um like earthquakes, things happening that are, that are shaking things up. It feels uncomfortable. It feels weird. It feels different. Our lives are being reoriented. And now we have the solar flares. So we get to take care of our physical bodies. You know, my vet used to track solar flares and he noticed that whenever there were M class flares, he never even said X class. That was like exponentially way greater than M class he would notice that more dogs would come into the clinic with heart issues. So I do think this is a call to action to take care of the physical body, ground the physical body as much as possible. Oils, you know, in Ayurveda, we do oiling according to your, your constitution. So oil up, keep yourself supple and nourished and, and moist because we're receiving codes, sleep, sleep, sleep. If you can't sleep, then meditate because studies have shown that that rest state also nourishes your body, maybe even better than sleep. So do what you need to do to actually shut down your mind. And just know that you're receiving codes. Now, what codes are you receiving? This is the crux of the whole thing of why I'm saying what I'm saying. We've been doing a lot of shadow work in so many of our spiritual feminine communities. We've been looking at the not self. We've been looking at the ways we doubt, that we second guess, um, the ways that we people please, the manipulation, the lies, all that Pluto is bringing all of that up to the surface to see like, this is, this is shadow. 
this is stuff. This is not self. This is not the enlightened self. This is the dark, the hidden coming, coming out, being seen for us to alchemize it, alchemize our rage, alchemize our fear. We have a lot to do because the feminine has been squashed, repressed, maligned. The role of mother, I'm filming this on Mother's Day, you know, stuck into this role that's like servitude. We've lost our connection to the holy mother, to the birther and creator of life. But all that's coming back. It's coming back and these codes we're receiving. And so the question is to you, what new codes? You've done the work. You're doing the work. It's coterminous. It's not like it ends and begins. It's, it's swirling. It's at the same time as you are looking at your shadow and forgiving yourself and holding yourself in compassion. At the same time, you're receiving new codes. You're becoming someone new, someone new, someone new the new human. Some say homo luminous. I love that. The light body, the light body activations. So we may not know right away. We are in the middle of it. Like it's like when you're making the soup, do you know what the end product tastes like? You don't. And you might think that's a crazy ingredient. That doesn't look right, but you, you haven't finished it yet. We're in that place of not being finished, but we're there and we're conscious and we're awake and we're seeing it, witnessing it. And so these are, this is like a moment where in this week, particularly that, that we're going to see things and be able to let them go, see them and let them go, see them and let them go. That, that's what's possible for you. We really can step into something new. And this is the week that we start to integrate that because it's been happening. That storm was like a three-day, I believe, storm. You may have felt like crap during it. It doesn't even matter. You can feel like crap all you want. You can be tired all you want. You're still getting them. You're still getting the codes. It will integrate. Everything shifts and turns and moves and you will integrate. But the quality of our question is what determines what our life looks like, right? So what question are you asking? And I want to orient your question to what are the new codes? What, is, what am I receiving? How am I now to live with these codes, with this awareness? And just witness and watch. Don't rush in to fill in the answer. Quiet. Listen. We're on the precipice of some just incredible new information. I mean, some say that the information coming through will be like all the teachings that we ever needed will drop in. That just gives me chills right there. It just drops in and we have it. We know it. We don't need to go out there and find it. Because here's the thing. We've been so busy doing that. We got to get to work building the new earth, but we cannot build, we cannot make things with our hands until we are different here. Because otherwise it's like the mission to Mars. Yeah, go to Mars, but you're still the same person going to Mars. So what makes us think we're going to be different? We have to be different first. It's be, then do, and then have. So in 3D, if we want that new earth in 3D, we know we have it already in 5D. It's already here. It's already here. But if we want to build enlightened institutions, clean up the oceans, restore Mother Earth, get rid of using fossil fuels and nuclear energy and, and, and rely on this energy that we don't, but some know, like I know Nassim Harriman knows, that there's already free energy that exists. If we want to shift out of power dynamics, out of suppression, out of war, we're going to be new people. So that starts with asking yourself a new question, not an old question, a new question, and waiting to hear the answer deep in your body. That's exciting. This is fun and exciting. 
even when it's hard and tiring and challenging and butt kicking, we are meant for this and we can do this. And that's what I believe. I don't even want to say believe because we don't need to believe, but that's what I'm suspecting and curious about these solar flares coming to us today. Thank you for listening. I can't wait to hear what it is you're receiving. Post it in the comments. What are you receiving as the new codes? May all beings benefit from the merits of our efforts. Namaste.